Hey, what's up? It's Janie here. Today I thought I would film a really dramatic eye look. It is just sort of like a deep indigo blue kind of a look. Um, it would be really good for going out. I was definitely inspired by like a mermaidy blue lagoon. I'm oh, sorry, I've got, I've got my makeup on my finger. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply moisturizer and I'm using the Equate Beauty Oil Free Ultra Gentle Facial Moisturizer. <laughs> I'm going to dampen my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It's a little bit dirty right now. I need to wash it, but I'm going to use, I don't know how to say this, Evine uh, Thermal Thermal Spring Water. I'm just going to use that to get it a little bit damp. I'm taking my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Natural. I just take it on the back of my hand and then I use my Real Techniques sponge to pat it in. <laughs> is use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Concealer. I'm going to take this right in the inner corners of my eye right here because I feel like that area can get kind of dark and when you brighten it up with concealer it really makes you look more awake. And then I'm just sort of taking it in like a crescent moon shape underneath my eyes. And then I sort of dab it anywhere where I feel like I want just a little extra coverage. <laughs> I feel like using a sponge on your eyes is a lot more gentle than using a brush because you're not tugging, you're just sort of dabbing. I'm going to set that with um, my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I'm using my Real Techniques Powder Brush. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Bl Blush in the shade Subtle Sable. It's a really nice color. It's really natural. This does have a really nice brush that comes in it if you want to use that but I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush. The next thing I'm gonna do, this is probably my favorite part. I'm taking my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. I love this so much. It's so nice and subtle. It just adds like this luminosity to your face. I take it kind of everywhere, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and down the bridge of my nose, and just right on the tip of my nose, and keep it well kind of a lot of that. Next thing I'm going to do is use some lip balm. This is the Bath and Body Works um, Stress Relief Eucalyptus Mint Lip Balm. I mentioned this in my favorites. It's really nice. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows and the first thing I'm going to do is brush them out with my e.l.f. Uh, brow brush. I'm going to be using my NYX Eyebrow Pencil Crayon in the shade Dark Brown. <laughs> I'm going to go back through with my brush just to blend that in a little bit. I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow and eyelash gel. I've never used this on my eyelashes though, I really just use it as a brow product. But I really like it for setting my brows. And it's literally two dollars. Now to the eyes. So what I'm going to do is go in with the NYX Cosmic Gel Liner in the shade Infinite Star. I'm using this as a base for everything else. I'm just using it on my finger. Look at how pretty. I'm just gonna put this all over the lid, which is gonna look really intense, but don't worry, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's gonna be really messy, but it's not, that's not gonna be the edge that we, that's not gonna be how we leave it. You wanna take it up above the crease just a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is use my TARDIS Pro Palette. I'm taking the shade Vamp, which is like a purpley indigo shade. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna go back in with the NYX Cosmic Gel Liner and just pop some on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go back in with Vamp on the lower lash line. I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Curve, I think. It's just a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will work. I'm gonna go in the waterline. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is go in with my 
ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Rex. It's a really pretty sparkly blue color. In the very center of the lid, I'm going to go back into the TARDIS palette and use the shade Trendy, which is this one. And it's kind of like a greenish blue shade. It's going to add just a little bit of light into the center. The next thing I'm going to do is blend out around the edges so it looks less harsh. I'm going to be going in with the shade Indie, which is like a taupey brown color. And I'm just going to go around the whole look with that just to soften it out. So I feel like we lost a little bit of vamp, so I'm gonna go back in with that and just put that back in to make sure we still have that depth in the crease. Even though it's blended out, you still want that definition there. So I'm just gonna take my blending brush again and just go over that lightly. It's all about just going back in to make sure it's defined but not too harsh. I'm actually gonna go in with this shade Vintage right here just to help brighten it up around the edges a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more concealer just to clean up underneath and around. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit more warmth to the face with my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. So the next thing I'm going to do is just curl my lashes real quick. I'm going to go in with my Clinique High Impact Mascara. So lastly for lips, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Under Over Lip Liner in the shade Freestyle. And then just top that up with NYX Butter Lip Balm in the shade Brownie. Okay, so there you have it. That is my Summer Murmured Eyes Blue Lagoon eyeshadow look. It's very dramatic. It would be really good for going out. And I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> uh, <wah. laughs> yes. Wah, sorry. I look so elegant when I'm doing my makeup. I'm like, <laughs>